Bukatov Yisrael Reak that we up early this morning, six thirty at this time. I'm an early riser. I'm up at four basically. I'm an old man, but I do get my rest. And this is a day. The first day is always a day that the people tend to to go out and. Just look at things. They take their families or whatever. They tend to things like that. And I'm you, not usually. I am always the one here. My Yisho, my son, Zachinia. Ramaya takes her out. She'll take care of things that needs to be taken to care of uh, as far as those things that are necessary for the community. Let us get a glimpse of this. I call him my big buffalo. He's the ox here garden he's preparing uh, we've had problem with the squash because the calcium content and you can see the buds there that's because of the low calcium and everything we use around here is organic uh, we don't use any kind of synthetic fertilizers we use all organic all of this rich black mulch here we make this we make our own mulch let me show you all this was made by our own process, organic. And that's why the garden is so lush, lustful. Here's the captain right here. This is Yawasadad. He got the sprayer. He's spraying everything as far as calcium for the plants that need it. Brussels sprouts are coming along and everything. Can you see that? Uh, plenty to eat for us and to give. Rook, my friend, this is my Shalom, Shalom. This is my ox here. He's taking care of those things we have to. The King Vitamine is down there uh, doing a little pruning. We'll make sure these peppers and everything, everything here, son. I don't know about those beans, they look pretty healthy, don't they? All right. Oh, the tomatoes, look at that. I did eat the only, this one, this vine, we're going to have to pull it up. But look at the tomatoes. I tell you, I've never seen this kind of weather. Look at the tomatoes. I've never seen this kind of weather in this part of the country. The only time I think it was 1978, 78, now 1976 or 78, I'm not precise on the day. When Mount St. Helen erupted, the summers were like this in this part of the world. I lived in Charlotte, North Carolina at that time, and uh, very, very cool nights. Nearly, this is 60 degrees, it feel like this morning. And these plants need uh, uh, a certain amount of a level of uh, a warmth, especially peppers. You, they need that 80, 90 degree weather for them to produce, really. So I came vitamin doing a little spraying this morning. Ak Yosef, he hasn't made it out yet. Uh, corn is looking well. Everything is looking well. I'm going to take us on just a little tour this morning. This is the little building I, I made, designed, and just put whatever paint we had. And there's a stove in there. It's a hot water heater that makes hot water for this building here, for this building. We didn't have any money when we came here, so we had to utilize everything we could. I would say at least 75% of what we have here was old wood that we retrieved from 
tearing down barns and things like that. That's how we, we didn't have money. We still don't have money. Hallelujah. We didn't have money to do what we needed to do. We did not. Everything's looking well. Look at that beautiful kale. I, I tell you, this, I eat it. My is sure they cook it. They cook this every day in some form. We do. Look at the sweet potatoes. Look at them. Look at the corn. Don't write me and say you can't grow. You don't even know. You know, it's amazing how people think they know things and they really don't. While you're growing crops together, you know, that that's the seeds of different, but that's not, the legitimacy of that was not just plant, but it was us integrating with different seeds. Everything is a prototype, my friends. And then how would you know, where do you get your food from anyway? Where do you get 90% of your food? It's amazing that people think, <laughs> out of the stores, and they will tell you, they, they, I mean, I get advice from everyone when it comes to gardening, when it comes to farming and things like that. Uh, look at this. Green beans are ready. They're getting there, look at that. The corn is tasseling, little small ears. It's tasseling. This was a late year for us, to be honest. It's a late year. Okra is beginning. I love okra. I'll eat okra any kind of way. Any kind. Raw, cook, boil, stir fried. Just give me okra. Look at the corn. Look at everything. Beautiful, so beautiful. I painted this little building right here. I did all of this on this little building. We had to take what we could to get it done. It's a little storage. Uh, and I did everything on this little building. Need some work done now. But that's when I had my full strength. I get out here and paint. I, I, I don't throw away nothing. You see pieces like little designs like that. I use everything that is available. I don't throw away nothing. That's my problem. I don't throw away nothing. The sun is, uh, the ants have been eating the sunflower seeds. The grass. But it's just the beauty of them. Uh, very precious morning this morning. I'll take you, I'm gonna take you out just a little bit. Give you the scenery 6.30 in the morning. And they tend to get up early around here. Dakim. Uh, take care of the things they need to. We always do it on the first day. Shabbat rest. And uh, just a little walk this morning. Beautiful the tabernacle. I tell you what I did do. I purchased me a fishing rod. I used to love fishing. But when I came here 27 plus years ago, Evangelist, Hart, uh, Evangelist Horn, Zachinia Ramiya's father of us, we went down to the coast, and I love going to the coast to fish. We went down to the coast one day to fish. In the, um, I mean, we should have been here working. And I promised my yacht that day I would never do that again because there were too many things that needed to be done. Work in the community, getting things done. And I'm taking that leisure to fish and to catch fish for the community. And uh, I'm taking my... Taking leisure to fish, Ak Yosef going to milk, take care of the animals. Uh, there he goes. We do ride bicycles around here. I used to ride one, but 
too old for that now. And uh, and I said to it, and I love to fish. I love to fish. And so I went out, it's Sean and I, when I went out to take your business on last week, I purchased me an expense, a, a very expensive fishing rod with some, with some, um, some little things to fish in the pond. And so I'm going to at least every now and then go out and fish and do a little fishing. We got ponds here. I'm taking you so you can kind of see. Yosef going to let the guineas out. And I'm going to show you this road. The road needs some work on it, but we'll get it all done. We got all the machinery and everything to do. We're so busy. Get all this down the pastures. And cows, they are on the other side. But everything, the sheep. <clears throat> And everything, very pleasant, very quiet. It's always that we're here, very quiet, morning. I don't know if you can see in the distance, you see those big grain bins up there? Back in the day, I, pay, I paid, I, I may have paid $500 a piece. I can get that for them right now. That's the chicken house over there, that's the barn. That's where we raise the chicken and we'll let, they'll, they'll be out all day roaming this field right here. Free range. You talk about a free range. That's free range, isn't it? They'll come and stretch and poop and they'll run the course of this dynamics of this pasture here, fertilize for the cow and for all of them to eat. And uh, just want to give you just a little refresher this morning. Hallelujah. Uh, yes. The sheep here. And everything is here. Going to get the eggs. And everything. Everything. That's like Yosef going to get the eggs and everything. He's been with me 25 years. At least 23. Hallelujah sheep in this pasture here. So King Bitterman lives there. Guest house there. Come here, you better do the speed limit because we've got regulated signs five miles an hour. And I command that. I can see you from every position in this community. We got cameras because these crazy Folks around here, if they get crazy, they're not just going to jump in on us, no one. We're not passive. Look at that beautiful pond there. Look at it. And we built them all just for water for the gardens. That fish there. <coughs> Akiwasudak, who you met this morning, he's, they come out here and fish all the time. I tell them the huge bass, Throw them back, but the other ones you can keep and eat. And uh, they catch here all of them him, his son, Yosipia, his son. They fish. This is the place of the goat, right here. Right in here. See, this is one of our cameras, they're Wi Fi cameras. This is one of them. We got them all throughout our community. Because we've had crazy people in the past call, say stupid stuff. Guineas and all. I think I haven't walked up through this way in a while. Beautiful homes, all King Bitterman's house. I don't know if I painted that or what, or help paint it. Yah has truly, richly blessed us here. This is where the goats are here. This is one of the gardens here. This has been a Shabbat rest this year. We've just let the gardens rest. And we'll begin in Yah's new year. We'll till this up. 
We'll grow okra, watermelons, corn, and things like that. Just a few crops. We'll do that. Fire your ants and everything. We have, Zakhim Bidamin has discovered a tremendous weapon against them. And just dawn soap and water. That stuff kills anything. I'm telling you, you have to be careful. He kills the bees. And if a bee get that on them, then bad trouble. You see the clover and all of that. They have come out here and eaten the clover and eaten it down. See, all this is clover. Uh, the spring of next year, this will be an oasis of beauty. Just this. And I'm going to, we're going to plant some white potatoes, sweet potatoes here. We may just, it depends. Just giving you, if you look at the beauty of the trees, we have some beautiful trees here. Oak and poplar and pine. This is what we awake to every morning. Isn't that beautiful? You see that building there, that barn? I built that, we built that out of old strap. And I, I'm not one that doesn't participate in the building and things like that. I do it all. Look at that clover, look at that. Wow. Just give you the optical just of this little garden here. We had garden full, we grew an abundance of foods. Just give you an optical. And y'all blessed us with favor, with people. I didn't care if they were a red neck or brown neck, black neck or yellow neck. He gave us people, like he said he would, with all men. And he gave us tremendous favor. I was able to bargain with people. Let me just show you things that we are able to purchase and get beyond the cost that ignorant of purchasing farm equipment. You see that piece of equipment right here? That would tear this whole garden up in no time. We pay little or nothing for that. I, I, I think we may have paid in that time $600 or 1000 That piece of equipment there, I can put it on the, uh, I can put it on any market, anytime. I can get minimum two grand for that right now. Clean it up. Look at our trees. I'm amazed at our trees. I am totally amazed. This is called, this is what we were using today. This is bottom plow, it gets down. It tears up the subsoil. So the water and the moisture of the soil, that's been sitting there for I know at least two years, three maybe. We got a little work to do, some fencing work up here. But look at these beautiful oak trees. We tried to diverse our herd of goat. We sold, what, about 10, I believe, here recently. We want to go with the Kiko boar. They're from the same family. I don't know if you can see all the way down there, but that's a huge pond. You'll get a chance to see it. You that have just become aware of us. You see this here? Can you imagine? I would come out here with Ak Yosef and others. And can you imagine? I look at just that garden. And it was all the way over to here. To here. About right here. So about right here. All this was garden. And can you imagine planting a row from that all the way down here? I was just insane when it came to making sure we had food. And you see all those? I don't know if you can see with all those black tires on there. I have, will have stuff in those as well. You may can see the silhouette through the woods there in the center. Big pond down there. The beautiful trees. Beautiful trees, beautiful oak, beautiful. Fresh here this morning. 
Does it smell like some kind of uh, gas? People in cities don't even live long because of the kind of environment, first of all. And not only that, but the chemicals and things in cities like that. True. I'm an old man. Getting old. White beard and gray hair. But this is our world here. Let me give you a shot of this. Uh, look at this. Let me walk on up. This is so wonderful. I love my life here. I love it more than I love love. Oh, don't get caught up in what I just said. But I love my life. We put this mulch down. Let me see. Let me see if any worms anything. There's no grubs in there. We put this down for this garden to help it. This spot here, from this, I want to show you. Give you a little half an hour this morning, maybe 45 minutes. But this here, you see that? This was a garden over here. On the orchard, we could not maintain that. But across the street here. And the garden was from this this pose here, this one right here, from here to that pole, and all this was garden, all of this, and we would grow, that's, that's a task. You don't want to try to grow food to try to grow nothing like this. We had people here then. We had people. <laughs> we can't do that now. I would not even try. It's a beautiful morning. I said I'd get up. As I said, I was up at 4 a.m. this morning. That's usually my time, 4, 5. I, yesterday, I didn't get up to 6. It's late. And this is how beautiful we come in. It's pretty here. See those signs down through here? Five miles an hour, I mean that. And uh, beautiful entrance here. All these stones here, all these little small ones. I wish I had my hand in all of those moving them. We have plenty of those beautiful stones. Here we can quarry them. Beautiful bed here. Imarafe and a chudzach here. Prepared that. But the, I built this here just to, so that it will be attractive when people come. When they come to visit. We're not some kind of recluse. We just don't want, not want, we're not gonna allow someone to come here all silly, the foolishness. You wanna teach me about welding and all that? You can, but we have welders here. Five miles an hour. This is what? Joshua, sons of Ibram, Hebrew. Ah, Israelite community. That's who we are. We are community. I'm going to take a walk on the other side. This is the land here that uh, state rep, representative in the House, South Carolina, Ted Vick. But I tell a white boy, when I find me a, a, a person, when I say I like that white boy, I like that white boy. He was kind to us. He said, I can get you all the money you want. And back then, I'm in the gym every day. I didn't put my nose on his nose, but I got right down in his face. I said, we are not damn beggars. I said it like that. Damn beggars. We beg no man. And we certainly will not beg the government. There are groups that take, tell the women to be on food stamp. They do that. Those that were with me, I took them off food stamp. 
those that were welfare recipients, I encouraged them to the point whereby there was a great growth. I said, whatever kind of job you want, go apply for. Now, you know you can't be a doctor or lawyer. But, and they gained wonderful employment. They gained it. Put them in houses together, families. Work on the house. Make sure that they have had a, a, a livable situation. Clean. I believe in having everything clean. I don't believe in, I, I don't like nasty places. Clean, immaculate, everything in order. I don't believe in that. You keep the house clean. I don't have my wife make sure they got the house clean, make sure they're doing this. Yes, sir. That's love. And I don't even want to imagine how they live now. Truth. Babies. No husbands. Nothing. They found me. Yeah, led them to me. They got husbands. Many of them no husbands now because they left. But look at the beauty of this community. I just want to... Look at this. this we're going to paint this. I don't know how I want to do it. That's a long fence. Clean it up. I don't know if I want to let the children just come up here and mess it up. I don't know if I want to paint it in an order or something like that. But we're going to do that. Look at this. is our property here. Getting back to Ted Vick. Jerry Lewis. Jerry Lewis. This old country Indian white boy. But not about, but about much educa education as I got. He was over here because when he purchased this land, I wanted to purchase it all oh, this, the huge, they call it a pond, but that's a lake down there. At that time, I could have purchased it for a quarter of a million dollars. We didn't have that kind of money. An oasis for Yisraeli to come. I'd have built cabins on the lake. Husbands and wife would just go out there and recertify their marriage and all of that. Those were my plans, but no bullshitting. You can't come here with that. And I saw old Jerry here. I said, you all purchased this land. They purchased every piece of land they could. Jerry Lewis and Ted Vick, they were partners. They were millionaires. Ted Vick was a millionaire at 33. He told me. He said, 33, I was a millionaire, Ray Octavi. And he was kind to me. He gave me money. He gave me money because I purchased the life. Of he gave me money, as I tell you what. It was a huge amount. I said, I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna write you a check for my account. I will buy, and I'm going to write you a check for that so we can purchase this land. That's the kind of man he was. And these white folks around here, that's all. They did him wrong. He would tell me, he said, Ria, when I would go to churches, yeah, yeah, churches of black people, I didn't go in there and just sit for 10 minutes. He was a doer. It makes me want to cry the way they did that, man. It does. I've cried about it. Like they are so righteous. He didn't even commit anything wrong. He was just caught with a young college girl. And they, I told one one day, I will not tell you what I told him, but this is our, this is the land he, they sold us. And I purchased these, we got these homes, these cappers. I wanted to put people over here, they come, we put them on this side, shower, they can shower and eat, they can eat and all that. But uh, people are crazy, <laughs> but people are crazy. You can't bring a mess like that in the community. And I will not, believe me, this is beautiful. This is such a pleasant place. It's a mess over here, though. I want to give you a glimpse. This is about a 45-minute video this morning. I built this little building right here by myself. Every bit of it. Strap. See how rusted the tin is? I built this by myself. By myself. I did all the work to this. I may have had one brother to help me put these facets up. And this is what we just we found. See how see how it looks? Just a little piece there and a piece there. I just needed to build this. And we have what log splitters here. We have that which 
you know, we can cut wood with. I got that from Canada there. That, this is a house here. This is a boss hall. She splits anything. We got this kinetic splitter. She's fast as they come. And everything. This is how we live. These barrels right here, I pay $2 a barrel. Cut them off. And we're going to start our trees in these. Y'all will give you a favor with men. That's what he will do. And so this is what we'll bring the cows today. Over here and let them graze over here. And then you'll get a shot at them. We're powering everything over here. These bins here, I will utilize them for, for things at the dining hall, all of these. I'll fix them up, put borders around them. This is wood here that we're going to use. We get the sawmill. This will be the wood that I want to saw. All of this. This is what I want to do. Let me enlarge this. Um, how about that? All of this, all of these bins. Go online and see what a 250-gallon bin will cost you. I'll get them for $50 a piece. 40 You see all this wood here? All this come from the property across the road. We are going to get us a sawmill. All of this. Let me give you a little more of this side. A little glimpse. Beautiful. We used to burn these, man. We used to get these by the trunk loads. Oak, wood, poplar squares. Now we have to utilize the wood that we, uh, we do jobs for people. That's what our little business is, a tree service. These are key mothers. They are, they are monsters. I just want to show you just a little here. And we're going to close it out. But this is a huge piece of land. Look at that. I love you, here. See this, see that big pile there? This is how we, we uh, make our own compost. <clears throat> we take this, you can see that's turkey litter. Of a turkey litter, we have turkey houses around us. And we can purchase this from the person. And we mix that. I'll show you our pile. That used to be a burn pit there. See all how green it is up there? That used to be a pit. Look at how it's grown. Look at how the rod and everything is growing. But that's burn pit. All that old wood up there was given to us free. We don't throw nothing away. I don't. <laughs> See this wood, it looks bad here. We use that for the boiler. Create the hot water for the shower houses, for the laundry room, for the dining hall. And all of this will take a week in October. We'll get over here and all of this, we'll cut it and split it. All of that over there, we'll cut all that. First power we'll cut is that, split it. That which in this pile, every brother with a chainsaw, everybody, brothers with chainsaws and spitting, and eat hearty meals. That's what we will do. I just want to give you a look at this this morning. I just see the riches of your heart. Snakes over there were snakes everywhere. No one has been bitten by snakes here. And we're not, if we come over here, 
and have to move wood. We know how to do it carefully. We really do. We have a beautiful community. They're beautiful. I know this scenery is not much, but it's valuable to us. We get the cows over here and they just start eating. Uh, let me take this down just a tad. I'll they just start eating. I see this pile for me from last year. I'll split it. Mm, that's long burning wood there in the stove. These old bins, back in the day, we would pay $20. We use them, but we can take a bin to each house. And let me give you a glimpse of this piece of land. Let me... Where this land goes, you see that tree line back there? Oh, we're in the back street ahead. And beyond that, this is our land here. And it goes down to near the reservoir, reservoir or this pond over here goes down that far. God bless us richly. I'm gonna put a huge solar light back there because the Akim hunt back there. They got a hunting field back there. They got all ride everything back there. This is our community. This is what we use when we go out. We let me get it fixed right. We go out. We compose this. You see the smoke coming out of that? See that? It's breaking down. And we'll incorporate the turkey litter and all with it. Anything we can knock from. See that? And they come over here, we come over here times together in target practice. These brothers around here, they're hunters, they can shoot. And this is where the cows will go today. See how far that reaches out? My plan was to put some families over here and uh, raise certain things over here, especially in gardens and everything. See all that beautiful land, all of those trees, oh, that's ours. That tree line there goes all the way down to that dam. All of that. There's a mess over here too. <clears throat> See that these telephone poles right here? Those poles in the ground? We're gonna get that done during the pagan 4th of July, the lie. There's gonna be a huge barn over here. We're gonna have a, a shop upstairs. It's gonna have on this side. We're gonna get all these in. We'll cut those off. That's just too high. I made that mistake. And the sawmill is going to be here. It's going to come out to here. And put the saw in here. Right in here. At this pole. And where we can come and mill our own wood. We need to. This is what it looks like. I mean, give that a little more view. See how that looks? Trees everywhere here. This is not the only land we own. You always bless me to buy land in other places. Well, another place. And uh, the people live next to it, they've been wanting to buy that for the longest. I said, I can't sell it, it's not mine. And this is all the tin it's gonna to take to do this barn over here. It's gonna be colorful. I believe in colors. We got this on the cheap, but it will do everything we need to do over here. Some was like this, 
And that's why he sold us on the cheap. It, it is oxidizing. Beautiful, beautiful place, beautiful aesthetics, everything. Someone said the other day, they said, there are birds, you can hear birds here. I don't know if you can hear it, but you can hear birds here. They said, man, I haven't heard birds like that in so long. We got all kinds of birds. <clears throat> Excuse me. We do those kinds of things to attract them. The sound. Beautiful. This is Teshua Hebrew Yisraelite community. Where we live, where we work together. And above all things, my friend, there's only one thing we're trying to learn. We're turn, trying to learn how to love each other. Now don't tell me you love everybody. Stop it. You don't even know what love is. We're trying to care for each other. Trying to assist and love. The men don't even love their wives and wives their husbands. Their mothers don't even really care about their children. You don't care about your neighbor, you care about no one. That's just a fact, let's be real. And the first thing you would have told me, you can't tell me who I love, I love everybody. You silly. Well, that means you love the what you would consider a bomb? Maybe not, but a person that is homeless on the street. What asked me, they well, what, what about, uh, you want, you know, these kinds of children and all that, I say, we don't, we will not take anyone like that. He said, well, I don't blame you. I said, there will be no government regulations on us because it would be. We don't want your food stamps. We grow food. I will not allow anything like that because you're dealing with a pot of worms. I'm telling you. Well, you have more money. Well, we're all right. The electric bill is paid. See that big deer track? Let me show you. See that there? Where is it? You see that big old deer track there? They're already in here. Man. Already. They're already up in here. You can see them. So this is Teshua. Hallelujah. This is our community. Headed on the other side, and we're gonna say, uh, we're gonna say, uh, we're gonna bring this to an end. Look at that beautiful tree. That thing was nothing when we came here. A big oak tree. <laughs> and look at it. I don't know the name of it. I don't know if it's the you put leg or whatever. I don't know. Blackberries in here. We don't. We got all kinds of fruits on these lines. Person was here. They say you've got 333 different herbs on this land. All of the sorrel and everything. Blackberry, wire, uh, prune trees, and all of that. The bees are out. But this is our Teshua. That's some blackberries. I was over here eating some the other day. Boy, as a kid, we would eat us some blackberries. Those are the things that slaves did that would, those hot summer days, and they would go and eat anything. They knew all the herbs and things. They knew that. We're gonna head back over and this is where we're going to close out. We're gonna head over, car coming down this street. This is Teshua. Country road here. Our land on this side goes all the way down. All the way down, where is that? That's where it goes. And this is Teshua here as we enter in. Beautiful community. 
This is our place of dwelling. We'll head back in. Yahweh's con congregation in Yorkshire. This is our beautiful oasis, not paradise. But it is a paradise for us. The roads are bad. You want to send an offering. Someone send me five, ten thousand dollars and help me repair this road. And I'll show you where every dime goes. But this is us here. Beautiful place. Wonderful place. And you've just discovered part of our property. You may hear sound because I have my It lets us know when someone comes in. We have cameras to see who comes in. You can't come through the woods anywhere around here. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is Teshua. Community. This one is quite a bit long. It's 45 minutes and running. You don't have to watch it all at one time. Just <clears throat> My issue watches them all, although she lives here. <clears throat> she watches the messages over and over. That's the way she is. So you have a rope nation. Be the strength of your fill your hearts with delight. As I said, we welcome Yisra Ya'in. We'll feed you. The first time we let no one stay here. But we have a beautiful accommodation here in the town of, well, that's the city. We're a town. City of Pageland. It's not that expensive. We send people there. As a matter of fact, we have one that set up everything for them if they want to come. Because I've had to put people off, they come acting crazy. You're not coming to our place with your demands. Not here. You can go to Johnson Smith Church of God in Christ and do that. But here in Teshua, you're not going to do that. No one. I don't do it. And you think that I will let some stranger? It's amazing. Can I say this? And there have been people, us, never given one cent, dime. And they expect some kind of treatment of royalty. We feed them wonderful meals. Our daughters can cook. My Isha. They can cook. And all of them, they prepare the meals wonderfully. Clean food. Give you all of that. Beautiful building to sit down and rest in. And you think you will come here with some kind of diction? You're going to dictate? You're silly. You're not even silly. Test you. You can do it in other places. But not here. Not here. Look at the sheep. Yep. 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 We had over 200 sheep at one time. Yep. 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 Yep, 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 yep. The young, I can feed them. If they were here, they'd come right to the fence. Yep, yep. They don't know me. Ah, we all like these sheep that have gone astray. Yabruk, my friends, support this work. Send your tithes and offerings. It will be used for the kingdom work. It will be. I don't live an extravagant lifestyle. Uh. 
My wife used to make every bit of my clothing because material back then was inexpensive. As a matter of fact, the suit I had on yesterday and all my clothing, I designed them and she made them according to that spec. I've had that suit I haven't been able to wear because I was too big. I've had that suit for minimum 10 to 15 years. I have. And that's the factual truth. This is my home again. Old truck that I drive, it doesn't belong to me. But I just drive that because I don't need a car. I could drive, take one of these vans, or something like that. I don't want to take one of those. Because when I go out, I come back with supplies. Whole back of the truck. Full of things. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. I promote this place. No other place like it. There may be communities, but it's not like this one. You got men that are raping the daughters, two, three, four, five wives, and concubines, and all of that. You will not do that here. Not here. I'm an old man. And the strength of my body, y'all has maintained that as an old man. The purpose of my wife and her, my fellowship with her is beyond expression. I don't say what I say, both, but I said I know no other woman but her. Believe me. And I could have had what they call babes. They would not have been babes to me. She's the only one I know. And I don't say that with some kind of arrogance, because I'm nothing. The old song in the days, I fell in love. Didn't know what love was, but she taught me love. I said yesterday that one day I teach the series on love. And um, I said, I don't know, it was 15 years ago she asked me what love was. She told me and confirmed it last night. She says to me, we were married one year when you expressed that to me. And I meant that. She's the only one I love as a wife. She's the only one. The men that are, that's why they don't talk about things like that. They're dogs. They're not even dogs. They're filthy, filthy men. Can you imagine the stress a woman has to go through? You got another wife and I don't know if they all sleep in the same house together. You got a concubine, she's getting old, you're getting old, you want the young one. My wife is just as zero today in her late 60s as she was the day I married her. Just a tinge off, but believe me, believe me, her strength, the beauty of her strength has been maintained. What do I need someone else for? These are less than dogs. No regard for the daughters of Tizayon. He made the wife to be a helper to the man. I'm going to teach that. I taught it before, but it's time again. I'm going to teach that. Let me give us... I was intending to go get fish today. Man hasn't called me some of these. I call my little friend. I think this is the first time in some days I've said that. Have people here? Is that too many? Oh, no, stop. You don't even know. That's why you ask questions like that. No, it's not too many. I want to go get about five more big ones. Possibly. It doesn't take that much food. It's a little bit. That's more than They don't need anything for another. Three or four days. That's it. Peshur Hebrew community is a very blessed place. Again, I remind us, my little house. $1,500, but it's pretty though.
Believe, my wife does all this. She loves flowers and decorate decorations and all of that. One thousand five hundred. One thousand five hundred. And my little office probably calls cost me uh, about five hundred to bill. The windows were free. One thousand five hundred. I've done little things like that. This right here, the deck and all that, costs more as much as the house. All right, Big Daddy, how we looking? All right, Yabaruk. Yabaruk Nation, let me say to us all, the first day, enjoy the wonders of Yah, just to be able to breathe and uh, have life. That's a blessed thing. I'm getting older. And it's one thing that is inevitable. I'm going to leave. We all. Yabruk. Shalom, shalom. Yabruk. Yahweh, we magnify. Magnify.